the Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 and other Rotary Clubs are facing a challenge to meet the needs of those in less fortunate countries around the world. Countries such as Ghana where the need is great. The Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 has been touching lives in Ghana since 1993. It began at the encouragement of Dr. Godfrey Bachia, a neonatologist at Met Hospital in Windsor who travels frequently to his native Ghana to do humanitarian aid work, something he'd been doing on his own since 1985 after learning of a young girl who died of diarrhea. I, mean, I can tell you I shed tears and I thought to myself, how sad that we are throwing things away in Windsor here, which are usable, and a simple thing like a needle and a tubing could not help it. The Rotary Club of Windsor 1918's aid program to remote Ghanaian communities has come a long way since then. Uh, Windsor 1918 has been involved initially with the provision of medical supplies and equipment, which we still do. We gather them from uh, Windsor, Essex County and various donations and then we ship them when we have enough to put into a container and ship them there. Windsor Rotary 1918 has also been building clinics in remote villages, working with Windsor area teams who travel to Ghana to instruct healthcare providers, arranging a teleconferencing hookup so practitioners can consult with specialists. Windsor Rotary 1918 is also saving lives by sending mosquito netting to help in the reduction of malaria. Ron Arkell is a past club president and frequent traveler to Ghana. Uh, each year we give out, I'd say, between 300 and 500 mosquito nets uh, to villagers that uh, we select through local people who set up the, uh, the meetings. This is Rotary at Work. reaching out and touching lives, building schools in remote areas so eager young minds can learn, equipping schools with desks, chalkboards, textbooks, and supplies. The future of Rotary is in your hands. Practically all residents of the Jarapa area in northwest Ghana are farmers tilling the land on small plots. It's here they try to scratch out a meager existence, but the challenges are many. Unfortunately, their land is not very fertile. The rains are very erratic, and the rainfall is only about three months. Usually, it's just started now in June, and it will go until about the end of September, October, more or less gone, and there's no rain until the following year. So it's a very dry, long area. So the, one of the big problems of the people in that area is water. And that's where you see the Rotary 1918, some of the projects that we've done lately, is drilling boreholes to provide people with simple, clean, portable water for household use. And even whatever is remaining is given to animals because through, during that period of prolonged dry season, there's not even surface water for animals. You could see some places where you could have a pond and that's where people get water for them use and the animals also are using the same thing. So you can imagine waterborne diseases. If you go to the, any place in the Upper West region and say, number one, what do you want? They will tell you water. The Rotary Club of Windsor 1918 has set up a loan system for women to help start their own agricultural program. This has proven quite successful. Some are involved in raising crops. Others are involved in livestock production. As the loans are repaid, the program is expanded. About to get underway is a new initiative to begin adult literacy courses for those who unfortunately did not have the opportunity to attend school to give them basic reading and writing skills. Dr. Bachia outlines our club's priorities as requested by Ghanaian leaders. Maternal child health, water and sanitation, Community development and economic development, like I said, supporting uh, rural communities, self-help groups, uh, and education, basic literacy and education. But not everything is serious work. 
Some things are done just for fun, like providing soccer balls and frisbees for kids. Yes, there are other villages that need our help. The task of saving lives and raising living standards is a long and difficult, sometimes exhausting journey, and always with the children first in our minds. The Rotary Club of Windsor 1918, along with our Rotary partners worldwide, are playing a critical role, reaching out and touching lives.